Hey guys, so today I'm here and we're going to talk about my top three foundations of 2019. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, because this is the first video of this I'm going to do, um, I'm going to be doing several things where it's going to be eyeshadow, lip products, all that. So I'm going to break it down into some of my top favorite items that I had for 2019 for different categories. So I you know last year this was requested a lot, so I finally got to it and I remembered this year, so I'm sorry. But I figured let's get it started and without further ado, let's get into it. First things first is actually the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. This has become a very quick fave. This is the one that has the doe foot applicator. I don't mind the doe foot applicator. I find it very easy to work with. You just put it on and then just poof. Um, this one I got in uh, 0.5. So that's the shade in this one. I did get a different shade in my other one. But um, this is a little bit too light for me, but it's okay. I make it work. I absolutely love this foundation. It is fantastic. The only thing is that it does have like a like a smell to it, like almost like a like a painty smell. I don't mind it personally, but uh, just so you guys know ahead of time, wears like a dream. Super nice coverage on it. I uh, just love it. The shade range is decent, uh, and it's a good deal. So one of my all-time favorites. So I'm actually almost out of it. I'm like trying to like scrape it with the doe foot. Um, I would definitely rebuy this again in a heartbeat. Don't mind how crusty this bottle looks, alright? Okay? Um, this is the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Mm -hmm, sorry, it looks so dirty, but this is what it looks like here. Um, I went through three of these this year, and um, I was super pumped because uh, at first uh, I had a different shade, but they extended it, so then I've been picking up the 0 0.31, and it is a undertone neutral skin tone fair so it's 0 0.3 and it's the neutral undertone but absolutely love this foundation literally this is my the favorite foundation ever is this one all time number one foundation but it's really expensive so i wanted to make sure i showed some cheaper ones but all time the this is like the bomb even when i wear my glasses and um i have like the little like things on my glasses with mad makeup on it so sorry uh, um, but even when I wear my glasses like that, uh, it barely even comes off, so that is a huge plus for me. I just love the way this looks. It lasts beautifully. Just all time, this is like the best foundation ever, so highly recommend. Uh, just, oh, it's so great. This is a more recent one, but I've been loving. Uh, this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. This is what I have on today. This one actually has a pump. Uh, don't mind, it's getting dirty already. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> But uh, this one does have a pump, and this has hyaluronic acid in it as well, which I really love for the skin. But this is uh, this was supposed to be medium to full coverage. This one is a full coverage. This one is a bit more full coverage than this one. Uh, but however, uh, this wears very, very nicely. These are both great. This you don't have to set if you don't want to. This one I really would recommend setting with a powder. It would just look way better and not so like wet looking. Um, to me it's just a little bit too much. This one I got an F1 just so it was a little bit darker because like I said this one was like a little bit um, too fair but I still love it. Uh, love both of these. This one I liked more in the summer but now we're coming on the colder months. I've been really liking this uh, just because I start to get a little bit more dry but I would definitely pick up both of these again. I think they're both fantastic. Uh, I just think they're great. You can kind of see how the bottles are next to each other. Uh, if you want more of a fuller coverage and you're more oily, go for this one. If you're more dry and you want more of a, like, a high medium coverage, go for this one. Uh, but absolutely love them. Great price. Decent shade range. So, highly recommend. Uh, those are some of my all-time favorite foundations. But, uh, yeah. I've went through a lot of other foundations this year. The Makeup Revolution Stick was pretty close, but um, I find that the wear time isn't the best on it. Uh, it is a nice quick foundation though. Um, I went through some different L'Oreal ones, uh, almost done with the ordinary one. And they're like not bad, however they weren't stand out great where I don't think I'd buy them again. Um, same with I used to love the L'Oreal Pro Glow. It was some, one of my favorites, but then after a while of trying other ones I started to realize, I don't know if they changed it or not, but the shade I always got the ivory and it always looked good. It started to oxidize really bad and it used to not do that so I don't know if I got like a bad one or not. but. I don't know, in comparison, I just like these ones better, so I'll probably just stick to that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to be having more of these coming out soon, or it's going to be my top favorite. I don't know if I'm going to stick to the three or not. Um, it has to, I guess it's going to depend on the category. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and please be sure to subscribe. Alright, thanks. Bye.